It's your girl Chief Freeze, the high time dread wearing 180 waiver. You know, I got the waves on the side or whatever. I come to do another video, so it's officially one month since I've started waving my hair up, since I did the cut, since I started brushing, since I started using the wax, since I started buying products out the ass for absolutely no reason at all because a lot of them I don't use. But it's time for an update. You see me at two weeks. And I actually, uh, shortly after that video, I actually cut my hair. Um, I felt like it was just really long and uncontrollable. But I'm a wolf this time, so this is two weeks in. I'm going to give it two more weeks and do my first one-month wolf. And then we'll see what we're looking like. And uh, I might even jump in on that Jeezy, you know, self-cut challenge. So stay tuned to that. But first of all, y'all didn't come here to see me talk. Let's get into what my waves are looking like right now. Stay tuned. It's getting serious out here. Oh yeah. It's getting serious out here. Alright, I wanted to do a story time for you guys because I feel like um Gumby the Great did this before and I feel like a lot of people are comparing other people who do this with Gunther. Well let's let's have a story time real quick. So four months ago, guys, I decided that I was gonna cut the sides of my hair. Truth be told, my girl hated everything about it, so that's why she wasn't there. That's why she didn't help me cut it. She wasn't ready for that. And shortly after, she combed her dreads out because she said she did not want them. If I did not want them, she only had them for me. And that made me feel special as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But we off of that. So four months ago, I decided I was gonna cut my hair, but you know, I couldn't build up that strength to actually get to it where I was going to actually cut my shit off. I've been growing my locks for six years. My shit is long. All I've ever wanted in life was to have long fucking hair. And I finally got it. And here I am thinking about cutting the shit off. What? What the fuck? So, I decided I was going to do it um, a month ago for real. Like, no games. Like, that whole week, my mom was like, just cut it. Just cut it. If you don't go ahead and just do it, you'll never do it. So, I cut my hair off, guys. But, rewind. Let's let's go back. Let's go back to that four months. At four months, he doing the most out here. At four months, I decided when I said I was going to cut my hair off, that I was going to get the waves on the side. Because I hadn't seen anybody do it before. At the time, Gunther hadn't posted his videos of him doing it. So, you know, I was like, okay, cool. Nobody's done it. Let me jump in on this. Let me get the waves on the side with the dreads at the top. It'll be a new wave, literally. And, and you know, maybe people jump on my wave or whatever. If not, that's cool. I'm still gonna have an original ass high, um, hairstyle. So maybe, I think he posted his video like two months ago, maybe three months ago. Anyway, shortly after I said that that's what I wanted to do, I get on YouTube and lo and behold, I see him with these waves on the side of his head and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and honestly, guys, you know, no idea is completely original. Other people always have ideas that are similar to yours, if not the exact same idea as yours. So I'm not mad at him. I'm not upset with him. How can I be mad? How can I be upset? He had no idea that that's what I wanted to do. I had no idea that that's what he wanted to do. So shout outs to Gunther the Great for doing that and breaking the um, uh, the mold, having people with high top dreads or high top anything start to wave their hair. So shout out to him. No hate this way. Much love. He did his thing. He's not doing it anymore, but he did his thing. He started a wave all on YouTube and I see so many people doing it that I didn't even know were doing it until the other day. So um, now I have to build my brand because I think I'll probably be the only person that's going to continue doing it because this is what I really wanted to do. This is my whole purpose of cutting my hair. It had nothing to do with him. I didn't just see his video and say, oh, I want to do that. I want to see if I can know. I already had the idea in my head that that's something that I wanted to do before I even saw his video. So anyways, back to what I'm saying. So I cut it off and I started to do my waves. Now, no lie, I watch a lot of 360 Jeezy. 
I watch a lot of Poppy Blast and I watch Nick Wavy. I watch Sir Cruz. So I have a lot in my head as to how to form waves, how to get the waves, how to keep the waves, how to maintain the waves, how to wash the waves. But what I quickly learned once I cut my hair was that none of that shit matters because this is my hair and it's not their hair. So I have to go through my own pattern. I have to find what works for me. I have to find what my hair likes. And so, you know, trial and error, but I finally figured out what works for me. So, just a couple things that I wanted to show you guys. I showed you guys last time, but, you know, niggas don't be paying attention. First and foremost, you'll notice in a lot of waiver videos, you'll see this As I Am buttercream. They say it's good. They say it's better than having um, pomade, but... I'm going to tell you that my experience with it, it wasn't the best. Um, honestly, my hair still felt dry. It felt like I was brushing over fucking hay. So everything on top is dry. And I was like, nah, that ain't for me. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I'll give it another try later on. But right now, this ain't it. And it might be because my hair is not long. Maybe this is for uh, people who are wolfing. I don't know. It ain't work for me. So in order, because let's be, let me show you guys something. I don't know if you can actually see this, but this is my weak side over here. I don't know if I'm too close or if I'm not close enough. Either way, this is my weak side over here. This side tends to over curl, even at a short length. And I've noticed that, and, and I was really panicking the other day because I'm like, my hair's over curling. This side is laying down. It's not that long. It's literally only two weeks from a, a 1.5 cut. And this shit is curling up like, you know, what the fuck? So this is the only thing, the only thing that got my hair to lay back down. And for you guys who didn't see it last time or haven't seen the other video, this is pomade. This is Kitten Pays. Uh, you Are Beautiful Pomade. It's for women. Woman owned. I don't know. It's for anybody who puts it on their hair. So that's what I have been using. I have put it, been putting it on my hair literally every day before I went to work. And that's probably why my hair has been laying down the way it is. But I also told you guys last time that I had listened to, uh, uh, it was another waiver, Wavy Leon. And he said not to moisturize your hair every day, to do it every other day. So I went through a whole week of doing what other people have told me to do, and it was a fail. <laughs> My waves went haywire. They were doing their own thing. I don't know if it was just, you know, trans trans um, transitioning. Couldn't say the word. Transitioning from what I was doing to a new method, or if it was just that my hair really wasn't fucking with what that was. So I literally have to put something on my hair every day. If I don't, my shit gonna be dry and brittle, and I ain't trying to be out here showing y'all some old brittle ass waves. So, um, I've been using this not so much every day now, um, for a fact. The Curl Enhancing Smoothie I have been using every day. Every day. At night, I put it on there. And that's probably why this side is over curling a lot. I realize that. But it's for moisture. And I put it on there every night before I put my um my wrap. I have a new wrap, by the way. Purple. This is for my nights. And I still have my black one. Excuse me, my stomach is really hungry right now. And it's saying, yo, bitch, fuck this video. Get some food. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Like really, really hungry. But anyways, this is for at night. This is for when I'm out in the world because I can't just be out wearing purple and shit like that. So this is for out in the world during the day. That whole jizz. Um, when I wash my hair, I use that as well. So, um, like I said, I use the Curl Hansen Smoothie every night because it keeps moisture in my head. When I get up in the morning, some days I use this, some days I don't. But for the most part, I use this almost every day to lay it down. But the catch to that whole thing is I wash my hair two times a week because I do a lot of sweating. So I never give this a chance to cake up in my head. I literally wash my hair on Sunday. Boom, here comes Wednesday and I'm washing it again. And boom, here comes Sunday again and I'm washing it again. It never gets the chance to cake up. And that's what they were saying 
Um, when they said not to put it in every day so it doesn't get a chance get a chance to cake up is because if you put this shit in and, and I, I showed you guys but let me show you again if you put this wax in your head every day you are absolutely giving it a chance to cake up and make your head look like a waxy ass mess and nobody wants that so that's why they're saying if you're not gonna wash your hair two times a week if you're only gonna do it one time a week lay off the um, pomade you know back up Take it easy. However, and let me show you what this buttercream looks like, you guys. It's supposed to take the place of the pomade. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna use something that's a little bit more natural than this pomade. So I'm gonna get this buttercream. And it literally just looks like cream. It does, it's not um, as thick as the pomade. So I, I mean, I understand that part. You don't want that that's extremely too thick, but I got 4C hair, guys. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't about to sit up here and pretend like I got any kind of good ass curls that y'all all say that y'all want to have. I ain't got that. I ain't mixed. I'm all black. So I got 4C hair. Um, I'm starting to comb out my locks to the top because I don't want them anymore. And I'm realizing more and more that it's all 4C. So with that being said, <clears throat> I need something to lay my shit down because my curls gonna go crazy and it's just gonna look like a, a, a nappy ass mess. I have no problem being nappy. I'm happily nappy. But I don't want my hair to look a mess, so. So, all right, guys, that's my one month update. I have had my waves for one month. Um, make sure you follow me on social media. It's going to be in the description box. Make sure you add me on Instagram. Make sure you hit my Twitter up. I got some good music up there for y'all. Check that out. Check that out. Make sure you subscribe. It should be a button either on this side or that side. I don't know. It should say subscribe. It's in a little square. Hit that button, subscribe. Um, if not, if you're on your mobile device, just scroll scroll just a little bit and hit that subscribe button for me just one time all you gotta do this once notification bell definitely tap that up also so that you can make sure that you see me first because you want to see me first or whatever I know so make sure you hit it make sure you subscribe make sure you hitting this thumbs up button because y'all was y'all was fronting on that last video y'all gonna watch the shit but not hit the thumbs up button all right Get this to 10 likes. Get this to 20 likes. Get this to 30 likes. I don't know. Tap that thing. I'm the only one you're going to see keep doing this shit because I don't give up. Like I said, I ain't no quitter. I'm going to keep doing this shit. So make sure you hit that like button for me. And as always, you don't know me, so don't judge my fucking life. I'm out this bitch. Deuces. I can be a casino, shake it, get it best for me. Give me all you got to keep the best for me. Like a spot